Now we have already seen this. NiCO4 also has sp3 hybridization. So you have to be very careful. Now let's come back and see the next example. If this example is given to you, so what should you write? First, copy the complex carefully. This is what is important because I told you, students here it is minus two. They copy it as plus two. The whole thing, like they'll change the numbers also. Please don't do that. So atomic number of nickel given to me, 28. So configuration is 3d8, 4 is 2. Done. What is the step one? As I said, always step one would be, I've already explained this concept. Step one, calculation of oxidation state. We have done the same in all the things. It's the same here also. So calculation of oxidation state, take that nickel, cyano minus 2, x. Sino is minus 1, cyanide ion, negative anion, anionic like and isn't it? So plus 4 into minus 1 is equal to minus 2. X minus 4 is equal to 2. X is equal to plus 2. <coughs> Done. Let's start. Nickel ground state configuration 3D8, 4 is 2. Write that 1, 2, 3, 5, 4, 5 and this is 3D, this is 4S. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let us write nickel 2 because it's a oxidation state is plus 2. So what will happen? It will lose electrons from here. This becomes 3D8, 4S0. So the configuration is 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 because 8 isn't it? 7, 8. Now careful. Your ligand, now the orbitals are empty. The ligand starts approaching the metal orbital, D orbital. So you have to be careful. When your sino is trying to approach, what is the nature of sino group? Very careful. Cn minus is a strong field ligand. Strong field it is a strong field ligand most important thing when it is a strong field ligand compulsory it has to pair up when it is pairing up compulsory it's going to form low spin complexes so what is going to happen now this uh, uh, the electron here from here it's going to pair up with this when it is pairing up, how does this look? Yeah, this d orbital looks like this. Does these two are here? This is half, half. Okay, this is half, isn't it? No, full. This is filled. This is also filled. This is also filled. Now this electron from here has gone, and you have an vacant d orbital available. Now you are left with s. Now how many do you need? How many cns? So one cn will come and buy one cn. How many are still there? Next is this is 3D. This is 4S. Two are over. I still need two more. 3D, 4S, 4P. One cyano, two cyanos, three cyano, four cyano. All this will hybridize now. They will hybridize together. What do they hybridize into? Just observe. This is D, isn't it? One. This is 3D. D. So what is the type of hybridization observed? First, D. Next, S. This is P2. D due to pairing. S because if we have four. One more, uh, two. This, this is called D, S, P2 hybridization. Let us write the nature. So what should I write? What, what are the factors? Most important thing, <coughs> I said, okay, um, like uh, we'll write the parameters. I need some space. Let us erase and then come back to this. So we have uh, written this. Let us write the nature now. Where shall we write the nature? We will write the nature here. <coughs> the whole concept. So hope you have noted this concept. I'll erase this and come back to the next one. So final, I have to finish off the answer with the parameters. What are the parameters? First important thing, I have to write what is the nature. So nature here, all are paired up so that it is diamagnetic. So mu s is zero, no unpaired electrons. Next, geometry. <coughs> 
here the geometry when you observe so how many are uh, there around uh, metal atom four it means one two three four four that is your square planar geometry if it is three it is called tetrahedral sp3 now four means square planar four corners of a square hybridization which you observe is dsp2 the type of complex now careful now see it is going into inside it's uh, occupying the inner orbitals of d that is why it is called inner orbitals orbital complex because it is going inner n minus 1d next inner orbital end what else is this i said <coughs> if it is pairing up if it is a strong field it is compulsory a low spin complex low spin complex inner orbital as well as low spin complex what does it do basically your sino whenever a strong field ligand is there isn't it so before um, it starts uh, filling or donating electrons it will try to lower the energy of this when it's pairing up it will try to lower the energy that's why we call it as low spin complexes and once it lowers then it starts you know forming hybrid orbitals so always remember low strong field means low spin complexes so everything is over anything else is left nature is done geometry is done hybridization is done type is done um anything else yes so everything is covered clearly